in the age of ad blocking. How does this affect your Facebook dropshipping and business? Because everyone relies on Facebook ads, but if everyone has ad blocker, how are they gonna see your ads? How is this gonna affect your dropshipping business? That's a super popular question that we'll be answering in today's video. Let's jump right into it. Look, people don't hate ads. People just hate the ugly, annoying ads that don't provide them any value. Hence, that catalyzes them to go ahead and install an app called Adblocker. Now, why do people and customers install ad blocker. The reason why people install ad blocking apps is one, they wanna control what they see. Two, they don't wanna be spending internet and bandwidth on content that they don't pay for or don't wanna see. Like if you go to YouTube, you don't wanna spend bandwidth on watching a pre-war ad. And three, they just feel unsafe with all these spammy ads and that they're worried that they're gonna get scammed. In this video, you'll be learning the effects that ad blocker has on your online business if you rely on running ads. And on top of that, we'll be giving the solutions on what you can do as an advertiser to go ahead and prevent these problems from occurring and affecting your business if you rely on advertisements. Now, I've really upgraded my setup because I wanna give you guys more value and a better viewing experience. So if you guys can help me out by hitting the subscribe button, liking this video, dropping a comment below, following me on my social media, that's gonna help a ton. So please hit the subscribe button. Now, let's go over the troubling effects that ad blocker will have on your business. One, it's gonna prevent you from getting recognition and getting traffic to your brand. By not having your ad seen, your brand is not getting that brand recognition that you're paying for and people are never gonna know who you are. Using ads is a way to let people know who you are. Hence, ad blockers prevent this. How can we avoid this? The second effect that ad blocker has on you is people are not gonna know who you are. They're gonna be like, who's this person? I haven't seen this person before. When they go to your YouTube, that's gonna be the first time they've ever seen you. Whereas if you use advertisements, what you can do is show all your ads to cold traffic so when they see you organically, they're already gonna know who you are. Now, again, how do you avoid ad blocker hurting your online business? We're gonna get to that soon. But another way this affects your business is because now that you can't run ads, you're gonna get low amount of customers which equal low amount of sales. So how do we affect all these drastic pullbacks and effects and problems that come from people using ad blockers as I just mentioned. Now before I tell you and give you guys the exact answer to that golden question, please hit the notification bell because I want you guys to get notified when you guys get my videos. Hit the subscribe button, that's all I ask. I wanna hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Please help me get there. So here are the ways to get around this ad blocking problem. One, reach out to these ad blocking softwares and apply to be whitelisted. Pay them or just ask them if you can be whitelisted from the ads. You wanna to prove to them that you show acceptable ads that are not annoying. And basically, you promise to display good ads that people will not be annoyed. Two, rather than relying on YouTube, Facebook to get your customers, see if you go ahead and work and create your own platform. Just like how Logan Paul has his Maverick Club. Just like how I have Stunning.com. Create a subscription product where you own your audience so you have the rights to show your own audience ads because you own that platform. On creating micropayments, subscriptions, having your own platform where you own your audience and you don't rely on someone else's audience. Three, really double down on organic content because when you post something on YouTube, Facebook organically, those cannot be blocked by ad blockers because it's an organic post from those websites. So engage with native content. Four, this is a pretty good tip. When you run ads, just target mobiles. Create mobilized ads because most phones and most people on their phones, they don't have ad blocker on their phone. So if you run all your ads to mobile only, majority of these people are gonna see your ads because people don't have ad blockers on their phone. So let's do a recap on what you've learned today. What are the effects that ad blockers have on your business? Well, it's gonna really make it hard for you to get your brand recognition. It's really gonna make it hard for you to get paid cold traffic sales. It's gonna make it really hard for you to get your face and brand out there to cold audiences that you really don't know. Now, here are the ways that you can go ahead and avoid that. One, get yourself whitelisted on these ad blocker softwares. 
Two, experiment by creating your own platform, your own subscription product, micro subscriptions, paid product, paid communities where you own your audience. Three, engage in native content. Post organically, master organic traffic because it's free and it cannot get blocked. And lastly, four, create mobilized ads and just target mobile because most people on mobile don't have ad blockers. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let's go ahead and announce last video's winners for $1,000 worth of courses, a consulting course of me. The winners here, if you guys want to qualify, all you have to do is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. On that, I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys got value from it. As always, please just hit that subscribe button. That's all I ask for. I've put in time and effort into these daily videos. The YouTube ad revenue isn't even what's covering the cost for these videos. So please show some support, show some love, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with nothing but more value. Peace.